Hello Divine Souls, welcome to my channel, Twin Flames Exposed. My name is Terry. I hope you're safe and doing well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. So let's see what the collective's energy is for this Twin Flame reading today. Same shit, different day. I'm so sick and tired of speaking about this same shit, y'all. I'm tired of this storyline, but I have to read what comes out in the cards. Your first card is Mask. So on this card, it looks like this person is taking off their mask. There's also a lot of blue surrounding this person. And that's dealing with spirituality, clarity, knowledge, and intuition. So your divine masculine is still going through a major transformation because he's tired of living a lie. Your next card is nourishment. Nourishment speaks of self-love, self-care, making better choices, change, and transformation. I'm also seeing purging and cleansing right now going on within your Divine Masculine. With this nourishment card, in my last video, I was speaking on how your Divine Masculine has aged. And it's because he wasn't being nourished. He wasn't eating. He was living a very toxic lifestyle. Drinking, drugging, partying, sexing. And he wasn't taking care of his health. For some of you, your Divine Masculine has lost a lot of weight. He's looking very gaunt and malnourished. So with this nourishment card coming out, it's telling me that your divine masculine is taking better care of himself. Roles can be reversed. Your next card is know thyself. And this card reminds me of being in the hermit mode. Your divine masculine has been in this hermit mode for God knows how long, but it's doing him some good because he's getting to know thyself. This is all about taking off the mask, going within self-discovery, spiritual awakening, and having deep introspection. Your Divine Masculine is looking back and reflecting on the bad decisions he's made in his life, trying to find the strength to move on from his mistakes and learn from them. So he's cleared away toxicity out of his life and he's trying to get on a new path. Your next card is Partnership. So this is reminding me of the Two of Cups. On the Know Thyself card, this person is looking at the Partnership card. So not only is your Divine Masculine doing some deep introspection, but he's looking at this connection in a new light. And he's also gained clarity that you guys are soulmates. You could be seeing 222, 1010, 1212, 1414, or 1111. And for those of you who are seeing these numbers frequently, this means you're on your divine masculine's mind a lot and he's getting ready to reach out. So with this three of swords being in the reversed, this is all about letting go, healing, recovery, purging, it's also seclusion and loneliness. So that's confirmation that your divine masculine is still in the hermit mode. And he's trying to heal from past pain and trauma. And for some of you, this past pain and trauma has to do with his childhood. He's trying to finally address these issues. Your divine masculine grew up in a toxic household or environment. For some of you, there was molestation. And for others of you, there were abandonment issues. There was an absent parent either his mother or his father. And for some of you, it could have been both. But your divine masculine felt neglected as a child. And that's why he's always wanting to be in the limelight. That's why he's always seeking attention. And that's why he's so egotistical and self-centered. But he's taking a good look in the mirror and he's trying to change his ways. So with this page of wands and the knight of swords, you have some kind of communication coming in from your divine masculine because he's wanting reconciliation with you. With the lovers and the Ten of Swords being here, Divine Feminines, your Divine Masculine had you in a third-party situation. Something you knew nothing about. He betrayed you, but through your intuition and your dreams and relying on your faith, you found out about this betrayal. You were having a lot of sleepless nights and your spirit just didn't feel right. And so the truth finally came to light and you got the answers you were seeking with the Ace of Swords. And so you call judgment on this relationship and you cut your divine masculines off. And with the first card being the mask, you are finally taking off the mask, divine feminines. You are looking at this connection for what it is. Your divine masculine didn't have your best interest at heart. He was a narcissist. He was controlling. He was fake. He was deceptive. And he stabbed you in your back for the last damn time. Because this is not the first time your divine masculine has been unfaithful to you. This is not the first time that you have caught him cheating and you're just sick and tired of being sick and tired. You're sick and tired of the roller coaster ride. You're sick and tired of the sleepless nights. 
You're sick and tired of the embarrassment because people were telling you that he was cheating. For some of you, it's friends. For others of you, it's family members. And he kept denying it. But the Holy Spirit, your angels, and your guides spoke to you in your dreams. They opened your eyes to what your divine masculine was doing behind your back. And that's why you call judgment on this connection. With the Queen of Cups and the Emperor coming out, you were so true and devoted to your divine masculine. You wanted this connection to work out with the Three of Pentacles. But he was reckless. He was a trickster. And he couldn't be trusted. He broke your heart, Divine Feminines. And even though it pained you to walk away from this connection, you had to do what you had to do. You are tired of living a lie. You're tired of feeling weighed down. And you're tired of being the only one trying to fight for this connection. So you took your morals, your values, and your integrity, and you removed yourself from this situation. Even though you still have love for your divine masculine, and you think about him from time to time, and wishing things could have been different, you are much happier. You are loving yourself. You're in the Three of Cups energy. You're working on your finances and career. You're looking into a new direction. And you're still healing. But through this healing, Divine Feminines, you have found peace. And most importantly, you have found your purpose. For some of you, you're doing spiritual work. You found out that you're the chosen one. You found out that you're a light worker and a star seed. And you're putting it to good use. You're helping people. Some of you have a platform and this is also a part of your healing. So you turn this mess into a message and you're also reaping the rewards of your brand new career path. So even though this connection didn't work out, it brought you on your purpose. You have a positive mindset now and with this magician, you are manifesting like crazy. You're manifesting abundance and you're manifesting a new soulmate. And that new soulmate is coming in with this Eight of Wands. This is also your Divine Masculine getting ready to reach out to you, Divine Feminines. But he's also feeling intimidated and he's trying to find the strength to come forward with the Strength card. He's drowning himself in work with the Eight of Pentacles because his finances are in shambles with the Two of Pentacles. Because he was giving to other situations with the Six of Pentacles. But you walked away. You ended this cycle with the world. And like I said, you're reaping the rewards with this Ten of Pentacles. You have a lot of good things coming your way, Divine Feminines. While your Divine Masculine is in the Five of Wands energy, fighting with everyone while spying on you with the Page of Swords. But there's a lot of drama going on behind the scenes here due to his deception with the Five of Swords. And with the Devil coming out, he can't stop thinking about you. He's obsessing over you, wanting to send you a message with the Page of Pentacles. But he knows you have your guards up with the Seven of Wands. And you're going to see right through his bullshit with the High Priestess. So he goes back and forth in his mind on whether he should reach out or not with the Eight of Swords because he knows that he has to come to you 100 or don't come at all. But he can't let you go with the Four of Pentacles. And with the Fool, he's going to take this risk. He's going to take this leap of faith and reach out to you, Divine Feminines. This is not over by any means. Your Divine Masculine is still in love with you. He knows that he's made the biggest mistake of his life by letting you go, by walking away from this connection. And he wants to come in to make amends. He's wanting a second chance to make things right. The Fool is the first card in the tarot. He wants a clean slate. He wants to start off from scratch. And he wants to take things slow. So let's get some messages from my heart handwritten oracle deck. Let's see what your divine masculine is wanting to tell you. My life is a mess right now. I told you guys there's a lot of drama going on behind the scenes. I'm still trying to figure shit out. Yeah, and that's why he's still in the hermit mode. Your next card is passion. So he still has a lot of passion for you, Divine Feminines. For a lot of you, you could be feeling sexual urges, feeling sexual tension. And it's because your Divine Masculine is thinking about you sexually. You also have cultural differences. So religion played a factor in your connection. You were more spiritual than your Divine Masculine. And your light irritated his demons. He didn't like the fact that you were so spiritual. And he didn't like the fact that you could see straight through his ass. And that's why he was hot and cold in and out and wishy-washy. Because he knew he wasn't on your level spiritually. And that's what you required, Divine Feminines. Your next card says, I made the wrong decision. But we all knew that. It ended up being the Ten of Swords and the Three of Swords. And the tower came down on that connection. You have silent treatment. So some of you have cut off communication from your Divine Masculine. You're giving him the silent treatment. 
And for others of you, you have him blocked. Your next card says, I didn't expect to fall in love with you. Yeah, so your divine masculine thought he was going to be able to come in and out of your life as he pleased because that's what he was used to doing. But you put a stop to that shit, divine feminines, and you cut his ass off. Your next card says, you did nothing wrong. Yeah, and so that's why your divine masculine is feeling like shit. Because you were nothing but loyal and loving to your divine masculine. And that's why he's having all these regrets. Your next card says, I had options that didn't amount to anything. Yeah, the third party situations didn't work out. He tried to replace you and that shit backfired. And your last card says, I know you are the one. What did I tell you guys? That's why that partnership card came out, which reminded me of the two of cups. He knows that you guys are soulmates. That's why he's been in this hermit mode. He's getting clarity on what this connection is. And he's now realizing you are the love of his life, Divine Feminines. All right, so I'm going to leave it here. Let's take this into the extended reading and we're going to do a part two. I want to go deeper on these four cards. The mask, nourishment, know thyself, and partnership. I'm going to take a look to see what that's all about. Because I feel like those four cards is letting me know that your Divine Masculine is going through this major transformation. And he's moving in a new direction. I'm also going to take a look at the card that says my life is a mess right now. We're going to see what's going on behind the scenes with your Divine Masculine. And then Divine Feminines, I'm going to take a deeper look into your heart space and mindset. And how do you really and truly feel about your Divine Masculine right now? So if you guys would like to purchase the extended reading, it's for members only. But I'm offering a seven day free trial. So you guys are free to check it out. Please give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so when I upload new content, you'll be notified. Have an awesome day. Love and light always.